How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. I'm sorry that there's been a, uh, a small break since my last video. My son got quite ill, and obviously I have to concentrate on being a dad before anything in life. And then as soon as he started getting over his illness, I got ill and uh, I was in bed for five days. And it wasn't fun because I haven't been ill for a while. I almost forgot what it felt like. But I'm feeling all right now, and hopefully I can crack down and make some more videos for you guys this month. My plan is to try and get three videos out before the end of September. Cross fingers, it comes off. So I have a video that I'm planning to release at the beginning of October um, about a predator catch um, that I conducted in Peterborough. There's a clip of that here. Hello, Scott. I'm sorry to do this to you, mate, but you're here to meet a 15-year-old girl. I'm sure you know that. Yeah. I'm placing you under citizen arrest under section 24A of the Criminal Police Evidence Act. You have to stay here, you are being detained. I will have to call the police. I'm just waiting for a couple of little things uh, to be edited before I can sort that out. Obviously, I need to blur this man's face throughout the entirety of the video because he has not been uh, convicted of a crime yet and I don't want to affect any future trial. At the point that he is convicted, which he will be for these crimes because I do this properly, uh, I will then release a full video with his face included as well. So during my little hiatus away from YouTube, uh, I received quite a few messages on social media with different videos that people wanted me to react to. And as I haven't been able to load for a while, I'm gonna try and get through the most popular demands in my inboxes. And this by far is the most requested video that I've had within the last two weeks. Also, before we get going with the video, if you guys wanna help support this channel in any way, my, my last five videos haven't been monetized on YouTube, and the only way that this content can keep on going is through donations on uh, websites like Patreon. I am revamping my Patreon page soon and uh, a lot of videos will be going out specifically for Patreon and not for YouTube within the coming weeks. Um, so if you guys want to donate any amount of money towards my Patreon, you guys get these perks. All of it is non-profit, it just goes back into the channel and helps pay for sting operations that I conduct. So without any further hesitation, let's get into the video. Edward. Oh, yeah, I knew this was happening. Did you? Yeah. Edward. Yeah, bro, I, I, I know what's going on, dude. What? Like, if you knew this was happening, which clearly you didn't, otherwise you wouldn't have attended a meeting with the child that you're clearly uh, arriving to encounter. Uh, if you knew this was happening, why would you turn up? I, I, I don't even know. <laughs> What's going on here? Saying, yeah, I know this is happening is basically admission to guilt that he knows exactly what the scenario is and he knows full well that he's in the wrong. Because imagine um, you're, you're an innocent man here and somebody approaches you in the food aisle in Tesco saying, hello, Stephen, I know what you're here for. If you didn't know what they were here for, you would be very fucking confused. You wouldn't instantly go, yeah, I know what's going on. This is basically an admission of guilt and a very stupid one to say the least. So if you catch no, Yeah, I know this. I okay. know this is happening. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for what? No. Yeah, bro. I knew this was happening. Thank you, dude. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I knew this was happening, man. Yeah, dude. Why are you so overly animated? Like, <laughs> you're so overtly throwing up gang signs everywhere. Chill out, bro. <laughs> Chill out, dude. Because like what you guys are doing, yeah. no, is actually very smart. What you what you guys are doing is really smart because you know I'm actually a really really you know vile predator. And you catching me is a really smart thing to do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get what what angle you're going at this from. But this is a completely new angle to a predator catch that I, I've ever seen. Most of the time, people sort of either. Pretend they don't know what's going on at all and plead sort of not guilty in every way possible. Or they try and run. I've never seen somebody be so overtly like, hey dude, yeah, I know what you're doing. Yeah, you're doing a good job, bro. Are you gonna arrest me too? It's so bizarre. He must be coming from this from an angle that makes sense in his head. Now I wanna figure out what it is. Okay. No, Cause like what you do, uh -huh. is actually smart with the actual people that you do try to catch. Right, well no. we just caught you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what are you doing? It's really smart with the people that you catch. We just caught you. Yeah, dude, shake my hand, bro. Oh, you don't want to? Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> what the f is going on? If what they were doing was so smart, and you know what they're doing is so smart, 
unless you're going to come here and say I was entrapped and here's the evidence of why I was entrapped, and then maybe I'll understand why you're coming at it from this angle. But basically compliment these people and make them feel good about what they're doing isn't going to change the fact that they're going to have to go to the police about you. And I hope they do go to the police because too many of these YouTubers don't. No, I respect that, what you guys are doing. Right. But you have to also admit that what you guys do yeah. can also be very dangerous. Like how? You just trying to make small talk with them. I mean, I, I've had similar conversations with people that I've met in a nightclub and they're like, hey dude, I, I like your videos. And I'm like, thanks. They're like, yeah, what you do is kind of dangerous. Like, this isn't something that someone says to me when I attempt to, to confront them. What's going on? Comment down below on this video with this timestamp, right? Exactly what you think he's trying to get at here. Is he trying to get on their side because he feels like, you know, if you can't beat them, join them? Or is he just a bit dumb? Because like, say you meet someone and you don't know them, right? You don't know them at all. Yeah. So they come up uh -huh. and then what if they also come with a group of guys? We, know we don't care. No, but you could get hurt. It's so nice of you to worry about the people that catch the child predators like yourself, my friend. We don't get enough respect. <laughs> but, but you could get hurt. Well, I love how the, the predator, in a weird way, is giving the predator catcher tips on how to do his job. Hey, you could get hurt, bro. Maybe you should, you know, like, not do this. So, like, I can get away with it. I think that's what he's trying to do. I, I don't even know. We don't worry about us. We worry what? about the 13-year-old no, no, girl no, that no, you... No, no, So do I. What I do know, I know what I did was wrong. That, you, I, that I understand. I'm you doing... understand what you did is wrong? Yes. Okay. But most guys do it and they don't care and they fight back or they do whatever, right? So if you knew what you were doing was wrong, right, why would you turn up? There's been plenty of times that I've messaged people on, you know, uh, these prop accounts and they've had conversations with me that have lasted a day and then they block me. You know, those conversations I still send to the police because sometimes there's incriminating evidence there, but a lot of the time there isn't. And with those, I can't really do much. A lot of people, when they realize what they're doing is wrong or they finish having they, they block these people because they've realized that they're in the wrong. And either from fear of getting caught or fear of, you know, God, they, they you know, stop doing it. So you can't say that you knew what you were doing was wrong, but then still turn up to this arranged meeting with a minor. Like, you, you can't have your cake and eat it. But on the other side, him saying that what he knew he was doing was wrong will help in the court case later on because this is an admission of sanity, as it were. He has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that he knows the law and he knows what he's doing is wrong. And they can use that against him later on in court. So you're you're the exception because you admit that you're wrong and yes. you understand. Yes. Okay. See, I'm I'm the exception, you know, because I was more than willing to fuck this minor, but I knew that it was wrong at the same time. So, you know, you should just let me get away with it, you know, because you know. While I was doing these disgusting things to her, <laughs> I still had a conscience. Do you suffer from any mental disabilities? No. Any physical disabilities? Physical? Like, what do you mean by physical? Well, do you have any, any uh, disabilities well, whatsoever? Well, like, I, if you count, like, Noonan's, because, like... What's Noonan's? It involves, like, my height. Like, I've, right. I've been judged because of my height. Yeah, yeah. So what he says here is quite important uh, for the case later on, is he's stating that he doesn't have any uh, mental disability, i.e. Um, a extremely low IQ, uh, something like Asperger's or, um, you know, severe autism where they don't really understand the empathy and don't understand completely what they are doing is wrong. Um, he's not quite clearly a sociopath by the way he's acting. So it's going to be harder for him later on to fight a trial from all these admissions. He's so far admitted sanity. He's admitted that he knows what he's doing is wrong. And he's all but admitted that he knows what he's there for. So at this point, call the police, place him under sentence and arrest. I'm not sure if, if this particular county or city or state in America has these laws, um, but do your best to detain him in a legal way and get him arrested. Your job's done at this point. And I've been affected with that and I get upset. Okay. Well, we're not gonna judge you on your height. Thank you. Right? Like a lot of people, a lot of people actually do. Yeah. I mean, I don't think 
Judging you on your height is the most important thing here. Maybe uh, judging you upon your actions is more so uh, <laughs> to the point. It is weird that you're more concerned about them judging your height than they are judging you for meeting a minor. But, you know, each to their own. Some people have very bad insecurities and if that's yours, midget, um, I'm upset. I'm upset for you. That's okay. And um, like, with some people, I, I, I stand up for them, like, because people who can't stand up for themselves, right. I try to do that too, but I don't try to go, like, physical or way out of my way. I uh -huh. do whatever I can to help them. Okay. And You're I, how old? 23. You came to meet a girl how old? 13. You came to meet a girl who was 14. Following a little rant, obviously, about him saying how much of a good person he was and how he tries to stop any injustice in the world. Uh, so good on you for that. Um, but you can't follow that up with trying to fuck a 14 year old, can you? Especially in a country where that's four years below the legal age limit. That's like a 12 year old in the UK. That's mental. Right. But like, You've heard of us? I've heard of you because of the news. Right, who but are we? You're the creep catchers. Right. I, know, I understand that. Okay, but so like, then why would you still come and meet a child? Because like, some people- Could have been a real kid. Her? Could have been a real I kid. I know that, but like what I'm trying to get across here uh -huh. is like some people like don't have, might not have the father figure or the older brother, right? Okay. So he admits to knowing who these people are. Um, they're the creep catchers and he's seen them in the news. And he knows that they patrol his particular area. That's why he almost came up to them like a fan. But what's, what, what really is, is bizarre about this is the fact that whatever they say to him, he tries to follow it up with, hey, you could do your job better, or hey, you need to start worrying more about the people that you're catching because not all of them are nice like me. Like, it's such a bizarre angle to come at this for. He hasn't said sorry once, even though he said that he knows what he's doing is wrong. He hasn't sort of pleaded with them to not upload videos, which happens every single time. It's just, Weird. It's just really fucking weird. And I don't have any younger siblings, but what I try to do with my friends who are just 21 also yeah. don't have the same thing. They don't have an older brother. So I try to be that older brother. That's 21. That's different yeah. than 13. I know. I know it is, but I just still try to be the older brother. What are, you, what are you banging on about? What are you banging on about trying to be a 21 year old's older brother? How's that got anything to do with you meeting a 13 year old? I thought he said 14. He just clarified there. It's 13. Bro, like, what, how, what are you? Hello, mate. I'm here to confront you about the murder of so and so. No, well, it wasn't a murder because, like, that's one point I met my nan, and my nan said that I was a good grandson. But that's how absurd this sounds to me. Like, it's got nothing to do with fucking anything. You're just waffling out your pie hole. I, I don't get it. I really wish that the people like this sort of showed the full conversation in the videos as well, or like even like a PDF link in the description where people can check it out because I want to know what was said before this. Was he always this bizarre? Or was he a normal person who's just acting like this because he's stressed? Okay. You've seen what we do, so you know that we're out there. So you know that it's wrong. You admitted that it's wrong. So then why did you, why did you see that you were fit to be a, a, an older brother figure? Because like, if they don't have that, right? If yeah. they don't have the older brother figure or they don't have the father figure in their lives. They're still inappropriate as hell. But then if they have problems, right? Instead, because some of their friends are the same age as them, right? And some of them can't even stand up for themselves. Wait, so I think what he's getting at here is he wanted to be an older brother figure to this 13 year old that he's meeting. I'm only guessing for sexual intentions, even though they haven't clarified that yet, which is bizarre. So maybe he was, Meeting somebody that had no sexual conversations. I, I don't know, it's just, it, it's weird. Like the, the people that are conducting the sting operations haven't confronted them with any evidence. Haven't said, look, you're here to meet a 13 year old girl for sex or anything like that. They've just said, hey, you're here to meet a 13 year old. So I, I, I wanna sort of know the complete backstory behind this. Why is he meeting this person? Because it hasn't been made clear in this video yet. How do we know we that? don't know that. That's not no, what you, that's what, what you're not understanding is, is we don't know you from a hole in the wall. No, but that doesn't mean no, that it's okay. No, no, I know that, but like, basically, if you understand, like, what you texted to me, like, like yesterday. Yeah. Like, like, Continent stuff. Yeah. I said no. Yeah. Like, I know not to. Like, I know not to do that. The same, you know what? 
you brought a child from the internet who doesn't know you. Oh, that's, that's you could be really anybody. The end, you yes. could be waiting with a van, oh, and really you could put her in that van, and she could be. You could be the last face she ever sees. Yes. So it sounds like they tried to catch him, if I'm correct, by asking, "Hey, do you want to do something sexual?" So this is a really important part of this case, and I, I want everyone to be very aware of this. He's basically accused the people conducting this sting operation of instigating sexual conversations, which would make anything in this completely admissible in court. It, it would be luring at this point if they were the ones conducting sexual conversations. He says, when you were talking about the condom thing, and I said no, then they agreed. So they were trying to attempt to lure him into making sexual conversation with this child and he refused to do so. Which basically means that anything related to grooming, this basically means that anything related to sexual intent to meet a minor, anything to do with being a paedophile or anything like that has been thrown out the window in a court of law. The most that he could be sort of prosecuted for is attempted endangerment of a child because of the age of this child, right? And him attempting to meet her. But if he had good enough lawyers, he could get around this by just saying that he was entrapped. And they've admitted to entrapment. Th this is the dumbest thing on both sides of the, of the equation. Ah, uh, the f***. That's why we do what we do. Yeah. No, that, I see, no, I see the side. I respect that you talk to us, okay? Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Yes, we're here I'm... for we're here for three reasons, okay? For... One is prevention. Yep. Okay. We just replaced a child that we don't know, even from your word, what would have happened to that said yes. child. Yes. Two, awareness. Okay? Oh, yeah. To let everybody know that there is a problem out there. Oh yeah. Right? I understand that. And to let you know that it's wrong and that we're out here. Three is exposure. Yeah. Alright? So it's gonna be a lot harder for you to meet underage children from now on. Yeah. Two of those three things basically said we want to make videos on you. Like, that's, that's, if I take those three things that are what are important to you, two of them are basically saying, hey, we want to make YouTube videos. You know, prevention. Sure, we want to prevent people meeting children. Good, good. Then the next two about videos. And that's, that's the thing that's wrong with this industry, this particular industry within YouTube is the three things should be prevention, going to the police, convictions. It shouldn't be video, video, prevention. It's mental. Stay away from kids, okay? Yeah, I will. Thank you. Stay away from kids. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Walks away. Why are you letting him get away? Right, I know why you're letting him get away. Because as we've just found out, you are attempting to instigate sexual conversations, which he denied. And you're worried if you have any, any amount of minuscule knowledge on the law around this, that you would probably end up in prison for attempting to lure, lure people into committing crimes. These things wind me up because not only do they not show the conversations at all, but they also admitted to the accusation that they instigated a sexual conversation and he turned it down, which means that they were attempting to, you know, entrap him. They didn't call the police because they know that they had no leg to stand on in this particular case. And then they let him get away with it. You letting him take his phone and not calling the police. Let, let, let's say he was messaging real girls, right? And you let him take his phone away and didn't call the police in. And the real girls that he was messaging, he deletes all the evidence on. You know, there, there may be children, you know, under the age of 30, young children, not even teenagers, but children that he's messaging. and. Those are crimes that he can delete the evidence on. With these people, you need to get the police involved just in case, because they will confiscate the phone, they'll go through it. And if they find anything, you know, you've actually prevented a real girl from getting groomed. But letting him go home like this, even though you're in the wrong, it is, this whole thing is stupid on both sides. If I was gonna rate this video, I'd give it a zero out of 10. It's, it's awful. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are, are my reasons to say that it's a zero out of 10 justified? If not, why not? What rating would you give it in particular? Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe out there and peace.